could you outline what physical remains, because obviously Hearst Park isn't, isn't there anymore, what kind of physical remains of Hearst Park can still be seen today if, if you're walking by or anyone's curious about um, yeah. how it be seen? Um, I think the, the place to start is down by um, Greyburn Way because the gates um, which were put up to cross, for, the, for the horses to cross the road are still in situ and obviously the width of those gates um, the only thing that's really been changed on those gates is that the road level has been raised because um, the gates now wouldn't shut because of the, the curbing and so forth that's been done but if you can get an idea of the width of the course by the side of those gates and you can follow the line down towards Hampton Court it doesn't go quite as far now as it used to go because they built a few houses along Hurst Road at the end but there's a house called Hurst End which is is where exactly the race course used to start beyond and then you can follow the line of the straight across as far as you can walk before you get to the houses um, and you can see the bend of the back straight as it comes around behind the cricket ground because the cricket ground was there um, there's less to see at the other end um, mainly because of the building uh, say Tesco is roughly is the point of where the winning post was um, and if you walk round Ferry Road the curbing of the road when it becomes unmade up um, is the original curbing that was there in the days of the race course and is where the turnstiles would have been to go into the silver ring and so forth and of course the, the, the road along the back of the course was always there um, and there would have been an entrance to the course um, where the ferry comes across from Hampton um, and they say the bend of the course goes around so you can get a pretty good idea of what it would have been like um, but it's, it obviously needs a bit of intuition. What I have done is I've superimposed a map of the race course as it was in the 1950s on top of a map of as it is today. So I can tie I can tie in pretty closely where everything was, and it obviously can be done um, by other people as well if, they, if they're interested in doing that to get a real idea of what's where, what was where.